It is Vlogmas day 957, and today we're doing dinner and dessert. I actually don't know what day it is. I have lost count. I don't think Yeti knows either, but for today's video, I wanted to make a WW friendly dinner and dessert so you can have this in your back pocket during the busy holiday season, or if you are stuck going to a carry-in and you wanna be able to enjoy something like delicious, that's not 957,000 points. So be sure to hit that red subscribe button if you haven't already, like why haven't you? Because I am like, I'm me, I'm me. And turn on those notifications and let's get cooking. So what are we cooking today for dinner and dessert during Vlogmas? We're gonna do a peanut marinated Thai inspired chicken breast that we need to make the marinade for first. And then we're also gonna do what hopefully will be a very successful zero point peppermint cheesecake. So we're gonna get started on the chicken by making the marinade. To get the marinade started, we are going to use a couple tablespoons of PB2. So this is 60 calories. And I'm using PB2 instead of real peanut butter so that we can kind of make this essentially zero points. How do I open this? Okay, so we've got that in there. Next up, we have a tablespoon of sriracha. Now my kids have already had McDonald's for tonight, so I do not have to worry about what they're eating. And then next up is a tablespoon of soy sauce. Let's see if I can get this in here. Next up, we're gonna do some minced ginger, one teaspoon, and to make this easy, I just have the Gourmet Garden squeezable ginger from your produce section. We're also going to need a teaspoon of garlic. There you go. And then we're also going to divert a little bit from the recipe because that is my plan. We're gonna add about a teaspoon of fish sauce. So you could add Thai sweet chili sauce, but I really like the combination of soy sauce and fish sauce in a marinade. And then we're also gonna need two tablespoons of lime juice. If you are ahead of the game, you can use fresh lime. Otherwise, I would use just this squeeze lime. Like I really just try to keep my life easy, peasy, limey, squeezy. Look at that, I am making a mess. So if you are new here, I redid my kitchen this year and we went from laminate counters to quartz and I cannot say enough good things about the quartz counters because they really truly do not stain, which is amazing considering I have two boys. Well, three if you count, Mark. So we're kind of cleaning up, we'll need to wipe up. And then the recipe also calls for half a cup of water. I'm gonna use a little bit more since we have the PB2 in there. And then we're just gonna close this zip bag and mix it all together. And then we're gonna add our chicken. From here, we're gonna add just some skinless, boneless chicken breasts, which are zero points on the WW plan. Unzip the Ziploc bag now that you figured out how to do it. And I buy you, I mean me. I like to stab my chicken so I don't have to touch it. So here we go into the bag. And this is gonna marinate for as long as you can. So at least 30 minutes, uh, you can do it longer. But because I'm not good at planning, we're doing 30 minutes. It is time to actually start cooking. So I'm gonna preheat my air fryer to 350 degrees. And I'm also gonna put two cups of water on to boil for this basmati rice. I know Mark is gonna want rice with this and I have some points left in the day. So I thought that would be an amazing treat. And also to round out this dinner, you need vegetables or I need vegetables. Uh, I have a bag of frozen sp spinach. I was gonna say spinach for it. it's frozen broccoli florets. I'm gonna quote um, Dishing with D. This is not the Food Network here. This is Kimberly True Style. 
you're cooking with me. So I'm gonna get all of this kind of going. We're gonna, you know, hopefully eat dinner here in the next 20-ish minutes. Well, here is our delicious dinner and Mark said, wow, that looks healthy. And if that's not a compliment from a, a spouse or partner, I don't know what is, you know? But here is our marinated chicken, basmati rice, five points for one cup broccoli. And that's the only thing with points on this plate. So I'm ready to dig in because if I don't dig in, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a little hangry. So Mark, yes. on a scale of one to 10, how healthy did the meal taste? Okay, so are we saying like one like beets healthy and one disgusting? Are we saying like really delicious and healthy? Ten. Did it taste like beets? No. Did it taste like the the double quarter pounder BLT? No. No, but <laughs> it was a hell of a lot less calories than that. I'll tell you that right now. Okay, heck, I shouldn't say hell. <gasps> Sans is listening. It's it was, mess. It was delicious. That was like a bodybuilder meal. It was it was perfectly cooked. Kim said she did the chicken in the air fryer. Mm -hmm. It was amazing. Very juicy. Um, perfectly. Everything was wonderful. She, she spoils me. Did it have enough flavor? Yes. I didn't feel as much of the Thai flavor come through like with the peanut. But, no. But it had a nice little kick from the sriracha. And I think we would have got more flavor had I marinated it longer. Yeah, but probably. what's next? Dessert. <laughs> Dessert. We are going to get started on our peppermint cheesecake. And this again is zero points. And so it requires three eggs, which I'm cracking into this bowl. I'm doing it just so amazingly. And then we're gonna mix this with three tablespoons, I believe, of swerve and a little bit of peppermint extract. The base recipe calls for a tablespoon of vanilla, but we're gonna just be a little mindful and take a short commercial break so I can get this open. Mark just said, what are we making? Because he wasn't holding the camera. And then he goes, hmm, that sounds interesting. So next up to our egg mixture, we're adding sugar-free vanilla pudding, just one packet. And we're gonna add three cups of non-fat plain Greek yogurt. So I'm pretending that I need help mixing it and making Mark do it. And apparently he requires a little jiggle jiggle, wiggle wiggle with his We gotta have some Christmas music on for this. Come on now, this is hard. <laughs> Why doesn't cooks have bigger forearms? Maybe instead of working out, you should just make me cheesecake all the time. Mm. After I eat this, I have to have the workout. No, uh, cause it's zero points. That's true. <laughs> So everything's mixed together, thanks to Mark. We just sprayed a pie pan with olive oil spray and we're gonna just ladle, the, ladle this, scoop this in here. We're gonna bake this at 350 degrees for 30 minutes. So well, the one thing I did not consider is you have to let cheesecake cool. I can't eat this right now but I can guarantee you that it smells delicious. I have made the lemon version of this before. You can smell the peppermint, so just be sure to use a limited amount of peppermint. I think I used about one teaspoon, but we're gonna let this cool and enjoy that later for dessert while Mark and I are curling up on the couch watching Dr. Pole. Be sure to like this video if you are into dinner and dessert, who is not? 
and stay tuned for more Vlogmas fun.